Meta just launched the Aria Gen 2 smart glasses. And trust me, these aren't your ordinary wearable tech. These glasses are built for the future, designed specifically for researchers pushing the boundaries of AI, robotics, and smart technology. So what's new? Let's take a look. First up, let's talk upgrades, and there are plenty. Better sensors, Meta has packed in more advanced cameras, motion sensors, and microphones. And here's a cool one, a heart rate monitor and a tiny mic in the nose pad that picks up only the wearer's voice. Perfect for training AI models without background noise interference. On-device AI. Unlike traditional smart glasses that rely heavily on cloud processing, the Aria Gen 2 handles eye tracking, hand tracking, and speech recognition right on the device. This means faster responses and better efficiency. All-day battery life. These glasses can run for six to eight hours on a single charge, and at just almost 75 grams, they're incredibly lightweight. Clearer audio with open ear speakers, you can interact with AI seamlessly without completely blocking out the world around you. And while these glasses are mainly for Meta's research teams, they're also opening them up to universities and companies working on cutting edge AI powered tech. So what real world impact can these glasses have? Well, the first Aria glasses have already helped researchers achieve some pretty amazing things. At Georgia Tech, they were used to train robots to assist with household tasks. BMW tested them for smart car integrations. Carnegie Mellon University leveraged them to assist blind and low vision individuals with indoor navigation. And now the company Envision is taking things further, using Aria Gen 2 for AI-powered guidance and spatial audio technology. With innovations like these, the potential for AI and smart wearables is limitless. Meta says more details on availability are coming soon. But if you're a researcher eager to get your hands on a pair, you can sign up for updates right now. The Aria Gen 2 will be available through Project Aria, Meta's initiative to push the boundaries of AI research. You know, it's one of those things that you don't know what you got till it's gone. And that was kind of the case with my vision when I lost it at 31. The challenges that we face, you know, just simply with visual navigation, you lose a level of independence with that. For a lot of people who are blind and have a low vision, independence almost always meant access to information. ARIA enables us to combine technologies like artificial intelligence and spatial audio that make the visual world accessible for people who are blind or have a low vision. It was amazing to see how a lot of our feedback was incorporated in building a Gen 2 device and also by keeping accessibility as one of the focus points. This is a truly collaborative effort between Envision, Lighthouse San Francisco, and Meta. We really want to go out and co-design with the community and try to learn from their experience. They actually want to try out these technologies. They're really excited. Sharon has been testing these features, giving us early feedbacks. GPS just doesn't work indoors. We need a different mapping and navigation technology. Usually when you listen to sounds over headphones, they'll sound like they're inside your head. Spatial audio is a technology that lets you play sounds over headphones that seem like they're coming from a real location out in the world. And all you have to do is follow that sound. You put the glasses on and you just talk to it like you talk to a friend. Hey Meta, help me pick up some apples. Certainly, follow the sound to locate the apples in the store. It'll start playing a beacon sound from the location within the store. The glasses can actually map as they are being used. We can allocate different points and label it with items that should be there in that space. Apples are here. You can ask any kind of a question. What apples are here? They have Granny Smith, Cosmic Crisp, and Honey Crisp apples. I'll get Granny Smith apples. Help me pick up red onions. Taking you to red onions. Red onions are here. Is this a red onion? Yes, this is a red onion in your hand. Just to have the freedom to walk into a grocery store and navigate to what I wanted, it was efficient, it was fast, it was just amazing. That's all I need today. Take me to the checkout counter? Sure, guiding you to the checkout. This isn't ready to ship out the door the second, but what's exciting is for how many people this appears to be working really well. Without these partners, we would have not been able to do what we did today. Thank you, have a great day. When we look at someone like Sharon, pick the groceries that she wants on her own, that emotion is incredible. And speaking of AI breakthroughs, Amazon is making moves too. They just partnered with Anthropic to bring AI-powered Alexa Plus 
to millions of households in the U.S. With 600 million Alexa devices already in homes, this could be the first real experience with generative AI for, for a massive audience. But that's not all. Meta is also reportedly working on a standalone app for its AI assistant, Meta AI, to compete directly with OpenAI's ChatGPT and Google's Gemini. Right now, Meta AI is only available through platforms like Facebook and WhatsApp, but a dedicated app could be launching as early as April to June. And here's where things get interesting. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman responded to the news with a simple yet intriguing post on X. Okay, fine, maybe we'll do a social app. Could OpenAI be planning to enter the social media space? This could shake things up in a big way. Meta is also rumored to be exploring a paid subscription model for Meta AI, though pricing and additional features are still under wraps. But the real highlight, Llama Khan, Meta's first ever AI-focused developer conference, happening in late April. This event could reveal major updates on Meta's AI strategy, Llama models, and the future of AI-powered applications. So, with Meta's Aria Gen 2 glasses, Amazon's AI-powered Alexa Plus, and Meta's new AI assistant on the way, we're entering an exciting new phase of AI innovation. And what do you think about OpenAI's potential move into social media? Let me know in the comments.